Betty Buckley, one of theater's most legendary leading ladies, was recently inducted into the Theater Hall of Fame. She's won a Tony Award for her performance in Cats and a Tony nomination for Triumph of Love. Betty has starred in many movies working with industry's leading directors, Woody Allen, Brian De Palma, and Roman Polanski. On television, she starred for four years in the hit series, Eight is Enough, and has appeared as a guest on countless TV shows, Oz, Law and Order, Pretty Little Liars. Betty performs concerts around the globe and has released 16 CDs, most recently the charming Ghost Light, produced by famed T-Bone Burnett. I'm so thrilled that Betty's here today to talk with us about her love of Italy. Oh, Betty, it's such a delight. Thank you so much for doing oh, the show. thanks for having me, Francie. So let's talk about what does Italy mean for you? Well, of course, I have always loved the art of Italy, and I'm a great fan of all the great artists and the heritage of that art. Um, but I had this wonderful good fortune to go on an extended vacation there not so very long ago, and um, I was just so moved by the beauty of the cities and the country and the light in Italy. I went to um, uh, Venice and Florence and Rome and Siena. I have to say, I think, well, Siena is extraordinary, and um, I've often fantasized about living there. I'm, it's a fantasy, but uh, but Florence, I think, is really my favorite city. Mine uh, too. Yeah, I I, the art there is extraordinary. There was even um, a sickness that happens to people that was discovered in the 1800s. Going to museums in Florence, they faint. There's an actual real symptom that, that I can you, understand because <laughs> there's just so much beauty. Yeah, when you see what, some of these paintings that you've read about and that you know about and you've only seen in art books, you know, and then there it is right in front of you, uh, or the David, or any of those incredible moments, you know, um, it's extraordinary. Really something funny in Italy, Rome is called the city of cats. I didn't know that, that's amazing. Yeah. But I heard that cats was playing in Rome or had played in Rome at the Colosseum. I really wish I'd seen it there. It was a, a wonderful, one of the great experiences of my life to get to play the role of Grisabella on Broadway. And um, you know, they, some people tell me that memory is my signature song and I feel really fortunate to even have a signature song. But you know, I, and also Grisabella, that character is, I think of her as my great soulmate, one of my best friends and my teacher. And uh, I've been singing her song for all these years. Sometimes people ask me to sing it as an encore, encore in my concert work. And um, so I get to revisit my, my great soulmate and friend, Grisabella, whenever I sing her song. Um, but yeah, and she got me, she won me the Tony, which is pretty, pretty special. <laughs> and what about the food and the wine? Well, I'm a huge wine. I'm, I can't really call myself a wine connoisseur, but I, my, my palate is getting more and more refined. I can barely stand bad wine anymore. But of course, Italian wine and Barolo, and especially, um, I love beautiful, rich, full wine. And in fact, my album, this is how I conceptualize it. People, of course, can enjoy it however they want to, but I think you must be either by yourself in front of a fire in the fireplace with a great you know, glass of wine, bottle of wine, just reflecting on your own life, contemplating and letting the music just wash over you and take you on your own dream journey. Or with your beloved, you know, that would be nice too. Uh, but that's how the music, the music is very atmospheric and it's meant to be experienced that way. And so my recommendation is you've got to have a great bottle of wine. In fact, I poured us a, a glass of, of wine to Cheers. toast to Ghost Light. <laughs> and I just think this is so elegant. And in fact, I think this would make a good mm. cover for a, a wine bottle. I do too. I think it'd be an incredible uh, iconic kind of um, uh, image for a wine bottle. My brilliant producer T-Bone Burnett, who's a multi Grammy Award winning, multi Oscar winning producer, he conceptualized the album that way and it's very sonorous and very atmospheric and it's meant to be played and experienced of, as a piece. Um, so yeah, and, and very I would love Italian. it is, and I would love to bring the music, uh, uh, the band of musicians, and the music to Italy and do some concerts there because I think they would fit quite beautifully. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Well, thank you so thank much, Betty. You, it was so Francie. nice chatting and congratulations on the I'm album so and happy all the about concerts. It. Such fun. And I want you in Italy. I do too. I keep begging to be your travel companion. I'll be your assistant on one of your many trips to Italy. I'll just hang out and, and well, I'll, I'll carry your luggage. That's what I'll do. It's a date. Okay. <laughs> thank you.